Hi guys, this is a shout out about a guy who uses one of my subdomains, a guy named Robert Waltz. You'll find him featured in my textual criticism playlist. He does a lot of different things and I'm just finding out now some of what he does. You'll notice that he has something that he's producing called the Minnesota Heritage Songbook. And he specializes in medieval English, which is really kind of interesting, um, specifically with, re with reference to Minnesota. Okay, its origins, its traditions, its customs, its background. So these are some of his books, like about how Orpheus became Sir Orfeo, and then the Just of Robin Hood, you know, spelled in med medieval English. More about Robin Hood, textual and critical commentary. But here are two that will be of interest to people that subscribe to me. The Bible in History and the Encyclopedia of the New Testament Textual Criticism. This guy wrote both of these books himself. And you can download them as you see here. The link to this website will be in the sidebar. And I'm, I'm real impressed by the stuff that he's come up with. It's different from what you find in common scholastic circles, and yet it is very scholarly. So if you're into the scholarship of textual criticism, I think you might want to take a look at this. Namely, the Bible and history, and the Encyclopedia of New Testament textual criticism. Now, I don't know what this guy believes. I don't know his theology or anything like that. And I don't care what his theology is. What I care about is that he's taking a lot of pains to study the Bible and study, you know, the, the inerrancy of Scripture is based on good textual criticism. And that's what he's saying right here, see? Textual criticism consists of trying to figure out what the New Testament, it's also old, originally said before the scribes messed it up. Okay? But see, he's focusing on the New Testament part. So whatever it is, his theology is, doesn't matter because we all are on our own journey with God. But what does matter is just studying the Bible and learning what it actually says. And that's what he's done here, and he spent decades doing it. So he's got his own subdomain under mybrainout.net, and he's also got, as you can see here, his own web page where he's done some e-books. So if you're interested, I would suggest that you, you know, download these books and, you know, I'm, I don't know if he's got like a donate button, but I would suggest that, if he, that he get one because he's working really hard on it, okay? And I think that, you know, he deserves to get some kind of remuneration for what he's doing. Um, I've never met the guy, and like I said, I don't know anything about him except that he just needed a little bit of help with web hosting, and I do that under Yahoo. I don't even have to work at it. So that's how I know this guy, and it's only through, you know, internet contact. So look at this book, download it, see what you think of it. Some of his stuff is in the, in the domain, which is in the textual criticism playlist. And then look at his Bible and history and see if it's useful to you. Okay? So that's it. Signing off.